Hey, we're going to be using a facial motion capture with iCoin 7 and Character Creator 3 to quickly just whip up an animation so I can put it over on Deadset Digital. So from here, I've got Character Creator 3 open, file, export, send character to iClone. Straight off the bat, our character is coming into iClone. Come on, baby. Um, and as you can see, like we've produced some, like a pretty schmick character straight off of the bat with pretty much no effort. So from here, I need to hook up the phone. So let's quickly go into motion live, click and drag that across. Do we match? We do not match our IP address. So let's just go 192.168.0.7. And I will press that button to connect. Client app has successfully connected. I'm just doing the face. So I'm actually not gonna be doing the body motion capture for now. So let's just do a quick preview. I think I clicked the wrong one. Did I? I sure did. <laughs> so let's just go live face again. Yes, that'll close. Let's come back into here. A little bit of a weird thing. Test. Yeah, baby. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Smile could probably be a little bit better, but we're not going to go for that right now. You can see it's out of collaboration. So if I were to set zero pose, Actually, let's kind of get into place a little bit to kind of like fill out the whole camera. Let's go into here. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so let me just go stop that. What I'm going to do is bring that over. So I'm just going to have to open up a web page. Let me find my little joke that I'll be doing tonight, which I quite like actually, to tell you the truth. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to the camera. Okay, so first things first, let's bring Motion Live back up. There we go. Record audio, we need to record audio. Okay, you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, okay, okay. Set zero pose. I truly believe water can solve all the world problems. Okay. Says zero pose. Cool. Hit record. I truly believe that water can solve the world's problems. Lose weight? Drink some water. You want clean skin? Drink some water. You don't like somebody? Drown them. Beautiful. Let's have a quick squiz. I truly believe that water can solve the world's problems. Mm. Lose weight? Drink some water. You want clean skin? Drink some water. You don't like somebody? Drown them. Interesting. Okay, so that didn't work out as well as I hoped. But you know what? The fun thing is, I'll just do it again. Um, all right, so I'm going to do this again and hopefully we'll get a clearer result. I think it's because I'm recording off the phone. So I'm just going to pause that. So we've now recorded the audio and it was quite nice. I didn't have the phone LAN connected. I didn't have it plugged directly into the computer. I still had it going through Wi-Fi. So if you want something a little bit more crisper, keep that in mind. So we've done our animation, file, export, FBX, Bum, 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 bum. How many frames? 1250. So I'm trying to just look over the camera. 1250. Let's press export. Uh, let's save it in some place. So we've exported the FBX. Now from here, let's go up into render, render audio. And we need to do the same. There we go. 1250. Nope. Wrong spot, sunshine. There we go. And this will be number two. Save. So now we're gonna jump over into Blender. So I'm gonna turn this camera off. Now that we're in Blender, let's press N and I've already got the CC importer character add-on installed. It's for free, link in the description. Import character, let's go find our character. Where did I put him? Double click, bring him in. And now with this add-on, it'll install all the textures and all that jazz looking schmick is exactly what I wanted. There we go, let's delete that default queue because we don't need it. Now part of this add-on, I'm gonna go to scene tools and let's go CC3 default. And this will now set up all the materials and so on. So let's just give it a sec. 
we can see some of the materials are um, a little bit funky. Now the add-on hasn't been updated to include all the new hair stuff. So we just gotta fix up these materials. Hair transparency, change them to alpha hashed. Let's go to the scalp transparency, alpha hashed, alpha hashed. There we go, so that's now clean that up. I'm just gonna quickly pose the character, bring his shoulders down. Um, because I am going to be doing very tight shot. Let's just come all the way down. Oops, a little bit too much there, sunshine. And let's go G, just move it out a little bit. All right, so from here, let's just go back into object mode. Shift A, let's add in our la camera. Where's the camera? Down here somewhere. There we go. Alt R, Alt G. There we go. Just going to plop that about here. G, Y, Y. Whoops. G, Z, Z, I'm gonna really zoom him in. And I forgot to set the um, pose on the character. So let's just quickly grab these arms in here. And I'm just gonna delete those keyframes, come to the front and we'll drop him down again. Beautiful. And now when we scrub through it, just his head is moving, which is exactly what we want. It's a little thing I keep forgetting to do. Let's just bring that back a smidgen. Let's go into rendered mode. This is what he's gonna look like. So he's actually looking up a bit. Now the way I can line this up with the camera so it's directly on with the eyes, if I go into pose mode, whoops, sorry. If I go into uh, wireframe mode and we can see these eyes and you kind of see that the eyes are controlled by these bones and we can see that they're pointing actually upwards still. So what we could do is if I come back into here, uh, let's just select all this for a sec. I'm just gonna hide it. All right, so there's our bone and you'll see now if I move the camera up, rotate XX, bring it back down. Now, that it's looking a little bit better. He should be looking more at the camera. There we go, so that's quite nice there. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have him in a back background. From here, I'm gonna set up all the renders. So let's go temp. Uh, we will just put this into 2D character, good enough. Let's select everything in here. Delete, accept, let's hit render, and then we're done. So if you want to pick up Character Creator 3 or iClone or any of the facial motion capture stuff, there is in the link in the description. It would really help me out if you would use those links. Um, if you have any questions around this, leave a comment below. Um, this might go into the Reillusions Lip Sync Challenge. Um, but I think what I might do is with the next one, I might refine it some more and uh, try and make it even more better. Even better. More better is not real English. England. English. Congratulations, Italy. Blah. Make sure you do jump over to youtube.com slash deadsetdigital to check the final animation.